Hey folks, Phil Beeman here. So we're continuing to collect results from all these trials. And today it's sticky board results. And so without any further ado, uh, I will uh, start counting. If you're wondering, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering just what the heck is going on, uh, the immediate previous video I started with kind of a summary of where, how we got to this point. So you might want to check that out first. But um, here we go. So I'll just put the camera on the boards. And let's count. And I have taken the trouble to prepare in advance a list of all the numbers we're expecting. So it shouldn't take me quite so long to write them down. Okay, King of Clubs. Nothing. Okay, maybe that's a slightly better position to work from. Even bring you in a little closer. All right, Queen of Clubs. I don't see any. Jack of Hearts. None. Ten of Diamonds. None. Jack of Diamonds. None. Queen of Diamonds. None. Ace of Clubs. This is one of the controls. Should be 2% might in these highs if our fall uh, might wash results are accurate. And in some ways, that's a test that's more known, uh, quantified, let's say, than anything we're doing here, because that was B sampled right off the brood. No. Nah. Piece of clubs. No. Two of diamonds. None. Two of spades. Now there's one. Two. Oh, there's a bunch. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, bunch here, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 
28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, two of spades, 42. Two of spades, 42. Ace of Hearts. None. Okay, now this one is uh, one that had no card. I don't know if it blew off hauling them home or if it didn't get one. It was when we transferred it over, we noticed it was a weak hive. But it's got no mites on the sticky board. Three of clubs. We got mites galore here, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, uh, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, holy crap, there's like 300 here. And mites galore. Let's, uh, I'm going to set that one aside. I might decide to count it all, but we'll do it with a grid or something later. For now, let's put 300 plus. Well, if you thought I didn't have mites, There's at least one hive that has it. This is Queen of Hearts. One. King of Hearts. That's what I wasn't expecting. King of Hearts, none. Queen of Hearts. Looks like it's probably a fairly small hive. I don't see any mites. 
Queen of Hearts. Oh, that's right. Let's see. Queen of Hearts. That's Queen of Hearts. There's none. Jack of Spades. Ten of spades, and this is one that was treated with apivar. None. Jack of Clubs, also one of the top level treated with Apovar. None. Ace of Diamonds. Two of hearts. None. Two of hearts. None. Three of hearts, also treated with apivar. We got one, two, three. Four mites. Three of hearts. Three. Three of spades treated with a bar. And one, two, three of spades, kings. Two of clubs. Don't see any. Ace of Spades. None. Now, just going to do a little thinking out loud here. All of these clubs are negative, except for the one that's out of control. Now, was that one that had Apovar put in it? How do I check that? Uh, I have that on my notes here somewhere. Three of clubs. Yes. That is the only, no, the three clubs and the jack of clubs. These two 
were uh, both controls that were not treated in the fall and then were given Apivar four days ago, clearly an out of control infestation in that hive, but no problem here. So one of the things we might have going on is that my controls are not evenly infected. Uh, but by not treating in the fall those hives that did have a mite level, they did continue to take off. The rest of them seem to be doing okay on their own. Uh, and then the spades. Well, all the others. Oh, now, hey, hang on. Here's... Here's where things do get a little interesting because that 15 mites on the 300 bees or 5% correlates to the high uh, sample here. So I think that, um, and then our two of spades and our three of spades, two of spades, three of spades, both have, well, now we're not measuring very accurately here, but both have detectable mites as opposed to not. The ones here that have, so we're comparing our mite wash sample to our sticky board results is what we're doing here. So the 10 of spades, zero for both. Three of spades, measurable for both. The two of spades, measurable for both. Jack of hearts with one mite, jack of hearts here is none. 10 of diamonds, zero and zero. Jack of clubs, zero and zero. Three of hearts, They had three mites on the sticky board, but none on there. Way too small a sample. I need to do more work. But it looks to me like measuring bees off the top bars can give you, can help you find the high mite levels. So that's good to know. So since I've been struggling with lack of mites, I think the next logical step is to do some, a bunch of, of 200 bee samples with the, with the bee sucker, uh, go across the top level of the hives in my shed, take 20, 30 samples. Let's find some more mites and then uh, go from there. Because, uh, and then we'll retry some of these tests once we have uh, more highs with known high mite levels. I think that is the next logical step. All right, folks, thanks for sticking with me. Have a great day.